All right, they're trying to bring out more rules and regulations in the trucking industry to try and make trucks safer. They brought out the e-log mandate, now they're trying to bring out mandatory speed limiters on all trucks. But the truth is, these regulations don't really work. Studies found that commercial truck crashes increased after the e-log mandate. If the government was serious about making trucks safer, there is one simple rule that they could bring in to make a hell of a lot difference more than e-log and speed limiter mandates. Let's have a look at this rule for truck drivers in the United Kingdom. You cannot pay your employees based on speed of delivery, distance traveled, or the amount of good carries if this encourages drivers to break the rules. The reason why a rule like this makes a lot more sense for safety than e-log or speed limiter mandates is a realignment of incentives for the drivers to do the safest thing, not the thing that makes them the most money. This basically gets rid of mileage pay, which is one of the largest cause of unsafe driving. Let me explain myself there a little bit. Let's take a guy making 50 cents a mile to drive the truck. If he can do 55 mile an hour, he makes 27.50 an hour. If he can do 70 mile an hour, he's making $35 an hour. That means to slow down by 20 miles per hour results in a $7.50 pay cut. Therefore, it incentivizes somebody to go faster. Because if you slow down for construction, rain, snow, fog, sleet, hail, whatever you name, if you slow down, you're taking a pay cut. Therefore, mileage pay intensifies people to drive faster, and it's therefore illegal under that simple rule. Same thing. You want it safe, you pay a driver by the hour for all the hour's work. Loading time takes extra time to secure the load, or the load takes extra time to load. The driver doesn't have to make up those hours later in the day if he doesn't want a pay cut. To make it safe, he does his job properly for the job he's hired to do, and he's paid by the hour to do it no matter how long that job takes. Pre-trips, same thing. Putting speed limiters on trucks isn't going to change the net safety that much. It's going to be like the e-log mandate again. Because most trucks aren't getting into wrecks because they're doing 65 mile an hour, 70 miles an hour. Where you find most of your wrecks is bad weather, heavy congestion, and construction. In which case, a lot of these wrecks are occurring below that 65 mile an hour speed limit for guys trying to push it. Where the trucker's at fault is when that trucker's trying to push it to get as fast as he can because his mileage pay is incentivizing him to do that. Getting rid of that mileage pay and a simple rule like that that says we're not going to incentivize you to break the rules is going to change a lot of it. Now, why do we have mileage pay now? Well, it was simple. Back in the day, you couldn't track what a truck driver did, so you would just pay him for the miles he did. Now that we have e-logs, GPS, you can see how long he's at a customer, when he's traveling, when he's on the highway, and you can pay hourly off that e-log. That's what Europe did with the tachograph. We can do that here. It's not 1970s. You can keep track of what your driver's doing for actual productivity and pay him based off the actual hours he works. So if you want driver safety, just make a rule like that that pays the driver to be safe instead of taking money away for doing safe things.